So what are bearings? Bearings are used to measure direction of travel. In here we have a boat and a lighthouse. We're going to write down the bearing of the boat from the lighthouse. So how are we going to do that? First we're going to measure from the north. We need to find the north. The north is the object which comes after the word from and in here we have lighthouse coming after from so that is where our north is going to be put the north there by the lighthouse and that should be your zero degrees but there's another con second condition for measuring bearings it must have three digits so that's only one digit so we add two more and then we have three zeros here so that's three digits so now we're going to start a measuring the angle or the bearing from the lighthouse to the boat. We're going to need a protractor for this. And when you measure the angle, it should be measured clockwise from the north. So that is your zero degrees. So here's our protractor. So adjust it so that it will be on the zero and read clockwise. So we sh in here, we have to read from the second line because the top one starts from 180. We start from zero. And it's roughly 82 degrees. So we're going to take the protractor away and write 82 degrees. But it says it must have three digits and we only have two. So we're going to add a zero here, making it three digits. The next one, we're going to measure the, uh, the bearings again um, of the boat from the lighthouse. So the lighthouse is the north and so we must you start measuring the bearing from there so that's a zero degree there are two ways of measuring angles which are more than 180 so if it's more than 180 we can use a 360 degree protractor which is this one here so we're going to adjust the protractor to read to zero and we can read that it's roughly 286 degrees so take the away, the protector away, and put the uh, measurement 286 degrees. The second method is to use the 180 degree protractor. So what you're gonna do? You're going to uh, draw a straight line from the north, and that will be your 180 degrees. So I'm just drawing this line here. It's 180. And then we're going to measure the little angle left here from the 180 degree uh, angle up to that point. And then we're just going to add up to 180. So the zero starts from here this time. So sometimes depends on your reading. Um, you might not get the exact value you get a uh, previous reading on the 360 degree protractor, which was 286. So here, what we read was 108 degrees. So if you add up to 180, uh, you get 288. So slightly off the 286 you originally read, but you are allowed a certain margin of error anyway. This next example uh, shows a diagram of the uh, position of a lighthouse uh, labeled L and the boat labeled B. Okay, so the scale of the diagram is one centimeter, represents five miles. So we're going to write this down. One centimeter is equal to five miles in real distance. Now, it says work out the real distance between L for lighthouse and B for the boat. So we're going to use a ruler. So we're going to measure the distance between L and B, and we're going to convert that into miles which is the real distance now you have you measured seven centimeters so how much is seven centimeters in miles so we multiply one by seven to get seven and we multiply five by seven as well to get 35 miles because what you do to the left side of the equation you do the same to the to the right side now so we're gonna write that down 35 miles that's the real distance between the lighthouse and the boat. Now, the second uh, question is to measure the bearing of B, the boat, from 
the lighthouse. So L comes from the word from, so the north is on the lighthouse, represented by the letter L. So that's the north, and we're going to start measures from there. So that's our zero degrees in three digits. Measure clockwise from the north, and we're going to need a protractor for that. So we're going to adjust the protractor to start reading from zero degrees. So read clockwise from zero and read from the second line so because the top line starts from 180 and there the reading we have roughly 104 degrees so we're going to put the protractor away and label the angle 104 degrees it's already three digits so leave it at that now uh, the next scenario is a whale is 20 miles from B, the boat, on a bearing of 50 degrees. So 20 miles we, from B. So B is your north on a 50 degree bearing. So now we have a new north, which is the B. And we start measuring from there at 0 degrees. So now we're going to measure... 50 degrees from your north, which is uh, the boat. So using a protractor, we measure 50 degrees. So zero is in the second line. Find 50 degrees and put a mark on where the angle is. So adjust the protractor so you get a more accurate reading. And 50 degrees is somewhere there. So put the mark. Next, um, the whale is 20 miles away uh, from the boat so we're going to uh, use a ruler to measure the distance of the whale from the boat so we need to convert the 20 miles into centimeters so we can measure it on our uh, paper so 20 miles 5 times 4 gives you 20 and multiply the other side by 4 as well giving you 4 centimeters so using a ruler we're going to measure 4 centimeters, which represents 20 miles um, from the boat to the where the whale where the whale is supposed to be. So adjusting your ruler, measure 4 centimeters and put the mark. So that is your 20 miles, which is 4 centimeters in a ruler. Rub off the um, the extra, the other uh, mark, which is not on the uh, 4 centimeter reading. So draw a line to that point and uh, you're going to measure 40, 50 degrees, which we have, and just label it 50 degrees. Now your 4 centimeters is equivalent to 20 miles, so label that as 20 miles as well. So in the diagram, we're going to mark the position of the whale with an X. So there is your X, and that's where your whale is. 